Here's how you can make this door zoom through effect for my viral Paris video. So there's two ways that you can do this, either with a photo or with a video. If it's a photo, make sure it's a very high res image. And if it's a video, have a clip where you're either walking towards or away from a door in a straight line, usually shot on a gimbal. First, I'll show you how to do it the photo way. Take an image of a door decently far back with a wide angle lens. Make sure the door is perfectly centered in the image by using your greater guidelines. As a first step, it might be a good idea to use Generative Expand in Photoshop before bringing it into After Effects. This will give you a bit more room to zoom in or out in post, but this step isn't always necessary. So expand the image with the Crop tool, click Generate, choose one of the options, hit Save, which will save it back into Lightroom, export it, and open it up in After Effects. Once in After Effects, drag your photo to create a new composition. Double click on the layer to open up in the layer window. Using the pen tool, draw a mask around the door. Try to be as precise as possible with your mask. Go back to the composition view in your panel. Click the drop down arrow for the layer, then mask, and add a little feather to the mask. And make sure this mask is set to add. Now duplicate this layer by clicking Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. Change the top layer mask to subtract so that the door is now behind the rest of the scene. Your image should look exactly the same way as it did at the start, only now you have the scene broken up into two parts. Now let's change both layers into 3D layers by clicking the 3D box here, the one that looks like a cube. At this point, you can decide how you want the door to open. It can either slide from left to right, or it can open like a hinge the way most doors do. Let's start with the door slide method. Select the bottom layer, which should be the door masked out, and open up the position properties. You can do this by clicking the drop down arrow on the layer, then transform, or you can just hit P on the keyboard. Go about one second into the composition and create a keyframe. Do this by hitting the stopwatch next to the position. Now go about 10 to 15 frames ahead and change the X axis until you can no longer see the door. Let's smooth out the keyframes by selecting both of them, clicking function F9 to make them easy ease. Or you can right click with both of them selected, go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease. You should not have a simple animation of the door sliding. Next, create a new null object by right clicking and selecting new null object. Make the null object a 3D layer too. Once the null object is created, you want to link all the layers to the null object. Select both the layers and drag the pick whip to the null object. Once parented, anything you move on the null object, the other layers will do also. Next step is we have to zoom through the door. Go to a spot on the timeline when the door is fully opened. Open the position properties of the null object. Change the Z space of the null until you've zoomed in all the way where you can only see black on the screen. I just typed in 25,000 for mine, but you can zoom as far in as you need. Create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch next to the position. Now move the timeline cursor back near the beginning of the composition, right click the position property and select reset. This should create another keyframe in the original position. You might have to play around with the timing of both the zoom and the door opening to get the desired effect, so this might be a little bit of trial and error. You can do this by moving the keyframes along the timeline. Select both keyframes and easy ease them just as we did before. Final step is to add motion blur to make it look more realistic. You can do this by clicking the three circles on both the composition and the layers. You should now have the door slide zoom through effect. And if you want to zoom the other way, drag this composition into a new composition, right click it, go to time and time reverse layer. For the next example, let's have the door open on a hinge. The setup and the steps are nearly identical, only rather than changing the x-axis of the position of the door, we're going to be adjusting the y rotation of the door. The key step here is to make sure that the pivot point is on the edge of the door. So double click on the door layer to open up the layer window again and show the mask. Select the pan behind tool at the top toolbar. Find the anchor point and drag it to the edge of the door that you want it to open from. Go back to the composition window and open up the transform properties. And just as we did before with the position of the door, we'll do the same only now with the Y rotation. Open up the door about 115 to 130 degrees so you can no longer see it and set a keyframe. Now move back in the timeline about 10 frames and reset the value back to zero. Or you can right click the Y rotation and click reset. 
Select both keyframes and easy ease them just as we did before. You'll probably have to adjust the timing of the door opening and the zoom through to get it just right. Again, make sure to add motion blur so it looks more realistic. You should have the door hinging open effect. To make the door zooms look continuous, stack multiple clips on top of each other. Once the door opens just a crack where you can see black, that's where you'll want to put the second video beneath it. Do this as many times as you see fit. You can use anything that can open. An art piece, a door, a window. Use your imagination and have fun. And tag me in any video that you make, we'd love to see them.